Ever since the release of the Battlefront Classic Collection, I've wanted to compare the Classic Battlefront 2 to Battlefront 2 Remastered, which is arguably better than the Classic Collection in every single way. We all know just how successful the launch of the Battlefront Classic Collection really was. And the nearly 20 year old game that the developers Aspire gave us for the size of 72 gigabytes to the 10 gigabyte size of the Battlefront 2 Remastered Project mod, which includes the game size as well. What you're looking at here is footage from the Battlefront Classic Collection captured on PS5, and then this is Battlefront 2 Remastered, captured on PC in 1080p. There's quite a vast difference between the two, not only in terms of gigabytes. And so today I'm going to compare every map from Battlefront 2 in the Classic Collection to every map in Battlefront 2 Remastered on PC. And I'm going to keep a tally of which version of each of the 23 maps is better, and at the end we will declare a winner. Also, if you like Star Wars gaming in any way, then subscribe, because I do a lot of Star Wars gaming stuff. Thank you. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> so you've probably already noticed some significant graphical differences between Battlefront 2 Remastered and Battlefront Classic Collection. The Classic Collection is basically only upscaled to 4K, which is part of why the game is a 72 gigabyte install. However, the Battlefront 2 Remaster handles the upscale a little differently by doing things such as adding new textures, reworking the trains, changing the lighting, adding different backgrounds for dynamics, along with some other additional features, props. There's a graphics mod installed on top of this which includes shaders, there's HD versions of the maps, and also overall improvements to the game engine, which basically make the game run on steroids while still being as smooth as possible. Let's take a look at Coruscant, for example. This is footage from the Classic Collection, and then this is footage from Battlefront Remastered. I think the Coruscant map in the Classic Collection is actually one of the best looking in the game in terms of what they've done to this map, and the overall lighting of the map when compared to the original version is much better. Things are much brighter, there's a lot more to see it feels. But if we now look at the Battlefront 2 Remaster, you can see there's a lot more emphasis on the shadows. It feels grittier. Light sources are also a bit more intense, and I feel this is more in line with the way the Jedi Temple looks during Order 66 in the film. The added textures certainly make the game feel a lot grittier in this instance, whereas the classic collection feels kind of washed out and a bit cheap. Everything looks kind of plasticky, especially when comparing things like the night sky. In the classic collection, it's really lit up and kind of more of a bright blue or purple, especially when compared to the Battlefront 2 Remaster version, which honestly looks a lot more like an accurate night sky. The same goes for the Jedi Council Chambers, where I think the difference is so evident in lighting. Yes, you can more clearly see out the window in the Classic Collection, but the Battlefront 2 Remaster version feels a lot grittier. I think maybe it's a little too far on the dark side, but I could have always upped the brightness in the game to account for this. Overall, just because of the grittiness, I'm giving this one to Coruscant. Next up is Dagobah, which is another one of the darker maps in the game. The classic collection once again feels kind of a bit washed out, and there's no real definition in a lot of the textures. Whereas if we look at Battlefront 2 Remaster, even the fog creates more of an atmosphere here. It feels like there's so much more attention to detail in the remaster version, just because of the difference in lighting and shadows. In the remaster version, I was also noticing some some smaller details like the fireflies, which are also in the classic collection, but don't really have the same atmospheric feel. Overall, the remaster just looks a lot more atmospheric like it's a more realistic world and closer to a modern game, I guess you could say. Neither of these versions of the game really come close to modern graphics. The Battlefront 2 Remaster is a lot closer than this. So that's two points for Battlefront 2 Remaster. Next up is the Death Star, and honestly, in the remaster version of this map, some of the hallways and locations completely blew me away. That said, I think it is a tad on the dark side, especially when we compare this footage to scenes of the Death Star from A New Hope, where you could say the hallways are a lot more grey than this kind of darker grey to black. I really enjoy the bloom on all the lighting in the remaster version, especially this room with all the green panels on the walls. To me, this specific section of the map knocks the classic collection out of the park. And then there's even differences in backdrop, like what you can see out the window, where, again, the remaster is just more interesting. There's more detail, where it looks like an actual world out there and less of a flat JPEG. Like I said, sure, at times the Death Star looks a little dark in the remaster version, but once again, I'm giving the points to the remaster. Now, unfortunately for the classic collection, the remaster version of Endor looks so much more interesting. There's added textures and environmental 
environmental features like the grass and ferns, they're completely different in the remaster because they're new assets that have been added to the game and they make this world look so much better. Even looking down this hallway in the remaster version is different to what we see in the classic collection where instead of being ray shielded, this door here is just closed. And it's moments like this, looking at this kind of map, where I think it's crazy a small community of modders have made something so much more impressive than a giant corporate studio. I do want to just add a disclaimer that the Battlefront Classic Collection isn't a remaster, it is just an upscale, they never claimed it to be a remaster. But if a mod like the Battlefront 2 Remaster Project exists, then why would the developers not do something like this that just looks stunning? I also always thought the lighting on Endor in the normal Battlefront 2 was kind of weird and way too dark, especially when compared to the films. Whereas the remaster version has brightened it up, made it look a lot more green and a lot more like the dense Endor forest we see in the film. This one for me is not even close. The remaster project gets another point. Now, Felucia is one of my favorite classic Battlefront 2 maps and the classic collection version looks miles better than the PS2 version did. And there's actually quite a significant difference in lighting and color between these two. This here is the classic collection and this here is the remaster. Instead of the more blue green tones, the remaster has gone for the browner look, which again is kind of what it looks like in the film. And is actually, I think, a lot more similar to what EA DICE created with Battlefront 2's Felucia. Another thing I should add about the remaster project, you can actually change skins. So in this map, I changed the 327th Legion, who are probably most well known for slaughtering a Sakura. How dare they? And another thing I noticed when comparing these two is that the classic collection has a hard time rendering what's in the distance, whereas the remaster project completely handles it. The fact the classic collection is running on PS5 and still doesn't want to load some stuff that's in the background is quite disappointing. And even though I do kind of like the green blue vibe of the classic collection version of this map, the remaster version just feels so much more alive. It feels more arid, but also more dense at the same time, if that makes sense. This one goes to the remaster. Now Geonosis is a bit of a funny one because the remaster project actually contains two different Geonosis maps, one that improves the original and then one that's basically an entirely new Geonosis map that's based on the original, that adds a bunch of extra assets and features like these LAATs. So with that said, I thought it wasn't really fair to compare it to the new map, so instead I'm just using the base version of the map in the Battlefront remaster project. But you can still tell a bit of a difference. These two are a lot closer to one another in terms of graphic fidelity and kind of what's been added here. But overall, the lighting, the rendering and smoothness that the remaster version runs with, I think is reason enough for it to be the winner here. But honestly, this one I wasn't so sure about until I looked up at the sky and man, the remaster version, I think just looks significantly better and crisper than the classic collection. Next up is Hoth, and what is with all the lines in the snow on the classic collection version of Hoth? The issue of the purple and black textures has clearly been fixed by now, I hope. I haven't had the issue come up again, but the remaster version fixes this, smoothing the snow out and also improving a lot of the backdrop. At times during the classic collection, it feels like the background is just a static image. And even though if you're not paying attention, it does sell the illusion that you're on a giant ice planet. If you pay more attention, the way the clouds and the background moves is really jarring. And this I found to be much less the case with the remaster version. Much smoother, much prettier, lighting's better and you feel like you're out lost in the snow. It feels cold. I think that's a big bonus point as well. The classic collection doesn't do that bad a job of this, but the remaster project literally sends shivers down my arms and spine. Not because I'm scared, because I'm cold. I like warm weather. It's Australia, mate. Another map that I think there's really no comparison between the two with is Jabba's Palace. The remaster version not only adds extra details, like actually putting Max Rebo behind his piano, or whatever this instrument is that he plays, along with improving the lighting and textures of Han Solo and Carbonite. This looks so realistic. The remaster version just feels so much grittier and more realistic. Also, I think the Rancor looks a lot less janky in the remaster version, although he does poop you out in both versions of the game. This one once again goes to the remaster. Another one of my favorite Battlefront 2 maps is Kamino. And I honestly think this is one of the best looking maps in the remaster. 
It feels so drab, so wet. The rain feels real in some strange way. Whereas in the classic collection, at times it's hard to tell it's even raining. The rain is a lot lighter, I guess. Maybe it's just not raining as hard at this time of day. The pristine white corridors are also a lot crisper in the remaster version. The ocean has been improved to look kind of darker and scarier, along with the night sky, which looks a lot less like a JPEG floating in the sky and much more like real rainy clouds. Also, when the lightning strikes in the classic collection, not really all that much happens, whereas you really know notice when it strikes in the remaster. The entire game flashes. I guess this is why they include the epilepsy warning. Definitely goes to Kamino, guys. Don't worry, maybe the classic collection will get some points soon. But not just yet, unfortunately, because Kashyyyk is possibly also one of the best looking maps in the Battlefront 2 remaster. This map has basically been completely redone. Also, the fog has largely been removed, which you can see here in the classic collection, where you can't even actually see across the beach to where the droids are coming from. Technically, I guess this is more like the film, but it kind of just feels like an invisible wall that's between you and the enemies at this point in the map. To be fair, I think we need to give some bonus points to the classic collection or just to the original Battlefront for Kashyyyk because it does look more like the film than the remaster does. The remaster feels more like a tropical beach location, whereas the classic collection feels like the beachfront war zone it was in the Revenge of the Sith. I can't go past how pretty this looks though. The added grass textures, similar to Endor, just sell this thing so much more. And I'm once again voting for the remaster. Moss Eisley is another one of those maps that I don't think even comes close. And this isn't even necessarily a texture or upscale issue. It's more just the lighting and color. Moss Eisley in the remaster version has a beautiful blue sky along with the yellow sandstone buildings. Whereas the classic collection or the original version of the game looks completely washed out. Another thing that improves the Battlefront 2 remaster is the fact that they've actually added desert around the map. Whereas in the classic collection, it just kind of looks like you're in a town that's floating in the sky. Adding the ships overhead is also another nice detail, so much more realistic, and this feels so much more like the spaceport we were first introduced to in A New Hope. I'm voting remaster. Mustafa. Now Mustafa is a map I'm a bit torn on, because sure the remaster looks great, but at times I think it's also just way too dark. I do have to say the lava mountains and backdrops around the map look a lot better than the classic collection version, but actually making your way through the hallways and being able to see what you're doing, I think is much more enjoyable in the classic collection. This map for me is just a little bit too contrasty, and I think maybe I'm gonna have to give this one to the classic collection. Ah. <laughs> I hope that's okay with you guys. Please tell me why you all disagree with me in the comments. So this one takes the points. Yay! The classic collection got one point although I'm not sure it deserves it. Another one of my favorite Battlefront 2 maps is My Gito, and the Battlefront remaster actually allows you to play as the Galactic Marines. Yes, those group of special clone troopers who slaughter Kiadi Mundi. The poor guy, the look on his face. Once again, the added textures and grittiness of this map sets it apart from the classic collection version, which is still fun to play on, but at times I think looks a little bit washed out. As far as I can tell, the backgrounds between these two are largely the same, apart from the added textures and improvements, but the remaster version just looks better. I'm voting remaster. Now it's time to go to Naboo, and it's interesting seeing how different the textures are on the ground here. The cobblestone streets in the remaster are completely upgraded, looking so much nicer, so much more refined, and I think so much more like the streets of Italy that Naboo is based on than the classic collection version. I'm once again voting remaster, no surprise. Polis Masa. The differences between the Polis Masa maps surprised me between these two different versions of the game. I think largely because this time it's the classic collection that is too dark, especially in the outdoor area where you can drive around in the tanks. To me, the remaster version of this looks much more like the asteroid floating through space that we see in the film. You feel like you're really out there on an asteroid. And yes, some of the corridors are definitely a bit dark, but if we look up at the window and out at the sky, there's just so much more detail in the remaster version. You feel like you're actually in space. The skybox looks incredible. The amount of asteroids that are surrounding you and debris just make this place feel so realistic. I'm voting remaster. Now I'm going to cover all of the space maps at once. I played and compared all of them in each version of the game. So I'm going to cover Space Volusia, Hoth, Kashyyyk, Mygido, Tatooine, and Yavin. There wasn't one time between all of these maps where I felt the classic collection was better than the remaster. The remaster project actually had a giant space update which completely overhauled space, I guess, in Battlefront 2 and added other features to the game like this awesome ability where you can 
fly through the frigate ships and even see details like parked ATTs inside the hangar. I tried to circle out of here but crashed. One thing that was strange to me about the Yavin version of the classic collection is that this really isn't Yavin. We should be able to see both Yavin 4 and Yavin here whereas you can't. However, this has been fixed for the remastered version, along with the addition of debris from the first Death Star's destruction all around the battle. Such an awesome feature that puts you at this part of the Star Wars timeline and makes this location feel so much more realistic. Another thing I noticed in the remaster were the burning forests down on Kashyyyk. It's small details like this that just make the game feel so much more interesting. And because of things like this, you kind of know when and where you are in the Star Wars timeline. This, of course, taking place during the Clone Wars. So because of all these features, because of the updated interiors, the additional assets, and the first-person cockpits, the Battlefront remaster gets an additional six points for each of the space maps. Now we're on to the corridors of the Tantive IV, and it's here where I think we can really compare reflections. The classic collection version of the Tantive IV definitely has some reflections, but they're no comparison to what we see in the remaster version. Version. The lighting in these corridors to me looks so detailed. And yes, even though this does appear to be darker and probably a bit grittier than the film version, the classic collection version just feels a bit too cartoony, a bit too fake. And I, again, have to vote for the remaster project. Utapau is one of my least favorite maps in Battlefront 2. I always kind of just felt it looked bland and a bit boring, and I don't necessarily enjoy the map layout. But the significant change in lighting and shadows we see in the remaster version honestly kind of sell it for me. It just feels more alive, more real. The dark shadows that fall over the city a representative of the CIS invasion and of the looming shadow of Order 66 during the Clone Wars. So because of this, I'm voting remaster and this is the final score. But I think we also need to talk about the fact that the Battlefront 2 remaster project doesn't include the bonus maps we got with the classic collection which include Renvar Harbor, Renvar Citadel, Yavin 4 Temple, and Bespin. The remaster project also doesn't have the additional heroes that were included with the classic collection, including Kid Fisto and Asajj Ventress. That said, the remaster does have additional maps, like Bespin Platforms, the Clone Training Facility, a bunch of additional space maps, including the Battle of Coruscant, Realistic Geonosis, which I mentioned before, Tatooine Dune Sea, and a few other maps which make this mod so worthwhile checking out. For me, playing on PC, it took only roughly 10 minutes to install this thing. That said, I've always been a console player pretty much my whole life and I do love the convenience of console games. Just being able to sit down, switch on your PS5 and play a game. I definitely don't agree with what happened at the launch of the Battlefront Classic Collection. Possibly one of the most frustrating launches in video game history. Why does this keep happening to Star Wars games? That said, I can understand why you might want to play the Classic Collection over the Battlefront 2 remaster if you're a console player. If you want something easy, you can just sit down and play with no issues, apart from all of these. Oh my. But do you agree with my overall comparison of these two games? Let me know if you do and if you don't in the comments below. And for 50 insane details in the original Battlefront 1 and 2, a lot of stuff you probably don't know about, watch this video here. Also come follow me on Instagram, Twitter, join my Discord and TikTok. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon.